welcome back to Horton the Collector with me, Jason. As you can see, Legolas has arrived. So, you know what that means? Another unboxing video. I have to interject quickly. This is the quickest I think I have ever received a piece from Prime One. I got the email sometime Monday that uh, my order has shipped. This arrived half eight Wednesday morning. That's phenomenal. I just wanted to mention that because that's, that's incredible speed. I think that's about 50 hours or something like that. Anyway. It's here. It's here. Uh, this is the bonus. There is only one edition with this. There is just a bonus edition, guys. It's an edition size of 650 pieces. There is no regular. So, yeah. Without further ado, shall we uh, Shall we get into it and have a look at him? See what he looks like. About time another unboxing, isn't it? Yay. Anyway, okay. That's got the packaging out of the box. It's quite heavy, this, guys. All in one box. Uh, pretty heavy. I don't know exactly how heavy it is. Uh, we've got the obligatory um, Prime 1 instruction sheet. So there looks to be quite a few pieces in this, actually. Looks to be quite a few pieces. Just having a quick gander. Just bear with me. Sorry about this. I really do try to keep concentrating on the camera, but... You know what it's like, new statue day. Right, we'll go back to uh, flipping fast forward. I'll get in this and we'll we'll have a look and see what it's like, shall we? Night time. Okay, shall we get the bits out? Oh, I better get the things first, don't I? We better get the things first. Right. Okay, guys, um, to start off with, I appear to have a broken piece. Okay, that's got the base out of the box. Uh, initially, the base looks pretty good. Unfortunately, mine has arrived with two broken pieces which come off the bottom of the shield here. The one piece looks like I can repair it really easily. Uh, it won't be an issue at all to repair. The other one, unfortunately, because there's, there's metal pins in this, don't know if they're coming out. And unfortunately, the paint area which goes over that is completely chipped off. I can see it. I can see it here in the box, but it's 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 far too small to to be able to manage. So, yeah, a bit of a shame. It happens, it happens unfortunately with new statues, as most of you know, occasionally you, you receive them that they're broken, so I suppose I'll take a couple of images of this and, and send it to Prime One and um, see what they have to say. I don't suppose there's really a great deal that they can do about this. Like I say, this one, this one will repair quite easily, so okay, we'll have to do that. So anyway, let's carry on for now because I think I can easily access them even with Legolas on here, because it's there and there, so... Hey-ho! Okay, so I've got Legolas out of the box here, guys. I've got to say... It's looking pretty good. But then again, I had no issue with the, with the other two. The statues themselves were good. The issue was the base. And like I've said before, the base on this one... I'll put the turntable on in a bit. It, it's, it's pretty good. It's a pretty decent base. Again, I feel it could be better. But I'll go over more of this in the review anyway. I'm not going to get all, all wrapped up in this now because I like to have a couple of days with a piece before I do a review anyway. So, But this looks pretty cool. Okay, e slots in nice and easy, guys. So no issue there whatsoever. So that's that's good news. 
yeah, it looks pretty good. Right, now we go into box, two, the, this, the second part, the, the box comes in two parts. So I need to start getting the bits out. Only the first piece is the cape, so we'll get that out and get that on. Okay, so here's the cape with the the quiver and the arrows. The arrows are flexible. It looks like, yeah, you can. You can actually straighten these when you get it, because a few of them are. These were protected by some foam packing and, a, and an actual little like plastic bag over them. But these are all like individual little arrows. I say they are flexible. The work on the quiver itself looks seriously good. Seriously good. Again, I'll go over this more in the review, but first impressions here and the fighting daggers as well look exceptionally well done. They really do look well done. So, yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So let's get this on. Okay, there are a whole different series of swords which need to be placed at different points of the statue. So it looks like this one goes in here. Okay, that one fits in the front there. You can tell the front one because it's got that spike on it. When I took these two out, I thought they were actually broken because they haven't got the spines on them, but they're not. They're not broken at all. And then these two go in different varying places. It doesn't actually tell you. Okay, those other two swords go on the back. What I'll do is, I'll, when I've done this, guys, I'll put the turntable on so you, you can see. But basically, straightforward. The great big longest sword goes at the front, and then you've got two swords. One's got a peg, one hasn't, so it's pretty easy because the one holds just a slot, and the other one has got a peg hole in it, and they go on the back. And, yeah, you know, they look they're pretty good, pretty decent, and no issues putting them together. So, so far, the only issue we've had is, is the, unfortunately, is, is the ends of the shields broke off, which is a... It's a weak area on the on the statue, clearly, so maybe some of you will find that you have the same issue. I don't know. Next piece is the Uruk Hai's arm, which is pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. So far, so good. Clicks in well. So this is a bit boring for you at the moment because you can't see what I'm doing, but I don't want to have to keep on. So that's where the arm goes in there. Pretty, it's pretty obvious guys, isn't it? To be honest. And then we need some arrows apparently. Okay, there's two types of arrow in the box. There's ones with the, which is the complete arrow, then there's ones which are partial arrows. These are actually made of metal guys, with what feels like a polystone end to it. So nice little bit of weight in these. Nice, nice little bit of quality there by Prime One. Okay, to put that in, guys, I, I just gave it a bit of a twist and a turn, and it'll it'll work its way in. It actually goes in a little way. Um, so. This is where it's going to be a nightmare when you try and pick it up to move it. Because I say, it's not light either. It's, it's really quite heavy. There's a second arrow with no, no point on the end, which goes... There's a head on the back here, and that one head just slots in. So, okay, next thing is his sword. Legolas swords, just basically there's a little slot under there, but make sure you slip it under that leather strap there. Just be a little bit careful with it, but it's pretty basic, it's not too bad. Right, next thing is the portrait, guys. I want to turn this round. First impressions of the portrait. The hair and everything is done exceptionally well. But I'll be perfectly honest with you guys, I'm not seeing Orlando Bloom here at all. Um, I find it mildly ironic that the Aragorn piece, which received all that negativity, which I put at being a good sort of secure 80 to 85% likeness for Vigo. For me personally, this first impression, I'm gonna say being generous, 50, 60% here, 
for Orlando Bloom. For me, it might look different when he's on the piece or when he's at a bit of a distance, maybe. Yeah, again, it's one of those ones at different angles. But for likeness, the Aragorn one is better. <laughs> See, weirdly, now it's on, and I'm looking at it from here, it does look better. So I'll do the review later later today. I say I like to have a little bit of time with these things and I mean I've got a bit of repair work to do and stuff like that anyway. So right, next is the uh, bear. So what we've got here is a very simple setup for the bow. The hand that he's on has just got one slot in it. And then obviously the bonus hand, which is here has three slots if you want to do that and if you want to change it it goes here to show that you basically have to undo this elastic from here and then re-thread it on this hand i wouldn't want to be doing that personally so, so mine's going back in the box like most of my exclusive pieces do So there he is. I just want to bring your attention to one thing because you get three arrows in here. Obviously, I've got one there with an end which is slightly, slightly bent. I don't think it's going to make any great deal to posing it or anything else, but just be aware if you're going for the one arrow pose, you might want to just sort your arrows. The arrows actually are done really, really nicely. Really nicely. In all fairness, in all fairness, in regards to the one having a bent end, I've noticed here, even here on the diagram that they've used, the, the instruction leaflet, sorry. You can clearly see on the picture here that the the arrow the arrow's got a slight bend in it, so yeah. I suppose arrows when they made them back in them days they weren't entirely perfect. I don't know. I don't know. There we have him. Legolas bonus edition of 650. The only edition that available is the bonus edition. Overall, my first impressions of him, it's pretty good. It's a pretty, pretty good piece. I will certainly say it's a improvement on both the Lurts and the Aragorn pieces I have. I'll go into a far more in-depth uh, detail when I do the review, guys, which will be the weekend now, incidentally. And I'm going to repair this shield. Say so the one side, it's a pretty easy fix. The other side, unfortunately, it's going to be pretty obvious because the paint has actually flicked up. Again, I'll show you more on the review of that. So. Still, nothing else is broken on it, which is the main thing. Yeah, overall, overall, I think he looks pretty sound. You'll have to let me know in the comment section what you think. I do apologize, guys. I know when I do these unboxings, I do try to keep a dialogue running with you all, but it, sometimes it's very difficult, especially when you, you know, you're dealing with a piece for the very first time, which unboxings obviously are and you're not wanting to damage or break anything while you're putting it together. I must say Prime 1 do do these flowing capes extremely well. And the detail on the, on the quiver and on the fighting daggers is exceptional. And his hair as well. But I don't want to go too, too in-depth into this. I do like this dynamic pose. I know some people weren't a fan of this shield surfing. Very big, sturdy, very heavy base. I don't want to go too much into detail because <laughs> it's going to ruin the review. But overall, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this piece. I'm pretty pleased with it. So there we have it, guys. Prime One Studio Legolas unboxing. Anything you want to bring up about this or anything else, please shove it in the comments if you've enjoyed the video. Please show it by giving it a like. And if you're new here and haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. My mouth is moving faster than my tongue will work. <laughs> yeah okay give me a couple of three days guys and i'll get the review of this banged out to you i'm one of them people i i don't like to do a review straight out of the box because over a few days well i do anyway my opinion of these pieces can change now put the turntable on and zoom in closer so you can get a good all-round look at this because there's, there's there, in all fairness there's detail all around this piece which is which i'm very pleased to see so okay i'm going to shut up i'm going to drink my brew I'm going to leave you all with Legolas. Like I say, let me know in the comments what you think. And I'll catch you all on the next video, which will be the review of this fella. Take care of yourselves and have a great end of your week. And I'll catch you soon. Try a bit.